So good morning. Getting started. Still trying to catch the group, but I'm only a couple miles. But that's because they decided to do another three yesterday. I got to the shelter last night. It was late. But, uh, yeah, just trying to see if I can catch up today. <coughs> As you've seen, wasn't much for videos for yesterday. That yeah, was just a, a bad day. Uh, all the way around. But, I'm getting going. Let me turn this around. Oops, sorry about that. It's almost 6.30. Got an early start. Like I said, let's see if I can try and catch up here a little bit. Because I said we're supposed to get into Glasgow today. Well, we'll make it. It's just... I'd like to try and catch up with them before they actually get there. So, get a little sun and stuff shining through. Right now, stuff is downhill, which that helps at the moment. Bunch of rocks and stuff, a couple steps. So far, it's nice morning so I guess one thing I was thinking about this this morning as I was getting dressed nobody ever talks about how wet your clothes are every day <laughs> I guess you, you just sweat so much when you get to camp you gotta get out of wet clothes but isn't it just overnight it's just so humid and stuff they don't dry so in the morning you start off with wet clothes again. Yeah, I got a extra shirt and underwear and and socks, but but it's so humid, this stuff won't even dry out during the day unless you can directly lay it in the sun. So why deal with two pairs of wet clothes? Nice morning chat, huh? So, yep. Just headed on down here a little bit, and uh, so I'll check back in later. Maybe we can get a good view somewhere here short, shortly. I mean, you can see the sun and stuff. <laughs> Sorry to blind you, but yeah, we'll check back in in a little bit. Bye. So this is the first view of the morning. I was able to come across. You can see the fog still set in. The clouds are laying low over there in between in a couple places. I climbed up on this rock pile. Let me uh, climb back down. <clears throat> Small rock pile, but I just went up there to get the, the view. It was kind of nice. Uh, so, coming through the rocks, a little bit up and down, climbing over some rocks and stuff. Let's see what's around this corner. Oh. More rocks. Right here, we're actually close enough to, oh, sorry, somebody's sleeping up here. We're close enough to the parking lot. I guess this is a little bit better. There was a trail coming down from the parking lot. I saw a sign that said parking lot. So I guess they kind of built this up for people to come to. It's kind of nice. I guess we'll continue on. Somebody was sleeping right there. Oh, okay, down. Yes, I guess maybe that goes back to the parking lot. But we're going down here. Down the steps. So. Alright, I will check back in later. See ya. So we are 
in the last uh, downhill stretch, roughly about four miles. We can get down there. We'll be crossing over the James River Bridge, uh, footbridge that is, uh, down there. It's like the longest uh, footbridge. It's on the AT. It's about, I guess they say a thousand feet or something along those lines. Not exactly sure. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yikes. About twisted the ankle a little bit there. Come down and rock wrong. That always feels fun. Let me turn this around and show you the trail. So this is what we're... Right now it's not too bad. You can get some rocky areas and such. But overall, not too bad. And then, uh, can't really see from this spot, but the James River is off to the left through the trees. Kind of spotted it a couple times. Uh, maybe down here a little bit more, I'll be able to get a video of it. So, we'll check back in. Bye. So, there's the James River yeah. coming across. Yeah, I'll tell you, I keep stopping and taking pictures of them again. I don't know if I'm ever going to get one. Eventually, you get down. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yep. So, yeah, that was the James River. Yes. So, past the sign a little bit ago. Match Creek Shelter is up ahead. Hi. Right. Definitely not really stopping there. Um, it would be cool if it's like near the trail. I get a picture of the sign. Uh, but uh, we're headed in town today. There ain't no place for a shelter right now. All right, let me put this phone away for I stumble on a rock trying to come down the hill. Talk to you later. Bye. Well, we made it down uh, to the shelter. And uh, you never guess, but it's uh, Matt's Creek Shelter. Yep, they named it after me. I guess they, I guess they like me or something. But here's the creek. Kind of come across. The creek just goes on down through there. Hear oh, the water flowing. Cross on over. Take you up to the important part. <sighs> There's the shelter. The trail keeps on going right across the front. So roughly two miles till we get down by the uh, footbridge. But there it is. Matt's Creek Shelter. Looks like it's been here for a little while. And the trail goes that way. So I'm going to take a small break and we'll check back later. Bye. There's the James River. We are not far from the bridge. We're trying to push it, see if we can get there by one. So far we're looking pretty good to get to the bridge. But that's, I don't know if you can see through the trees. And I've got one hand holding poles, so I can't quite zoom. Let's see if we can get a little better view right over here. Still a bunch of trees. Uh, I'll probably just start the video up again over by the bridge. That's it through the trees there. So, alright, let me turn it off. How are you? What? We did. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes, ma'am. There he goes. <laughs> All right, so here's the longest bridge, getting ready to cross over. Because you can kind of see people are having their own little party. These were the bridge jumpers. I got uh, got one kid on on video jumping, but that's about it so far. Guess they kind of all in the way of the walkway. There we go. They're starting to move. How are you guys doing? Good. Hey, you're good. Thank you very much. You too. But yeah, this is the longest footbridge on the AT going across the James River. And then we got a little bit to go to a parking lot. Head into town. Whew. That's the water. A couple of people out there kayaking. So they're probably fishing. Everybody trying to figure out how to get a ride and get out of here. So, boy, a bunch of cars lined up along here. Popular spot. So, all right, I'm gonna go down the steps. I'll talk to you later. So, I made it to Glasgow, Virginia. This is the shelter that the uh, town puts up, and it even has a little uh, shower, obviously, porta potties and stuff. Tents. I got my tent set up over there and then right across the street is a little grocery store Dollar General and kind of in front of this building is a little place where you can get uh, pizza subs and stuff small town um, I guess we're going to be picked up about 520 in the morning to uh, get taken out to the trail and such but uh I guess this evening, back over here, they actually have a band that's playing. Here's all the tents and stuff. I'll go over here. You can see all the cars lined up. I guess the stage is underneath the one pavilion there. That's kind of cool. Little, very little town, but it seems to be putting a lot of stuff on. So that's kind of nice. So I'm going to let you go. This will be it for the evening. We'll talk to you later. Bye. So this is here in Glasgow. This is the live band they had playing this weekend. So it looked like we came in at the right time. That's just kind of cool. Got a band, food, ice cream, beer. The man in charge. The Martian behind the steering wheel who plans all our missions. Little Marvin.
this is a pretty cool one. It's a it's a very small town too. So, all right, I'm gonna go get my pack together for tomorrow. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Good night.